Welcome to the Austin Drill Podcast. I'm your host, uh, Larry Kirk. I'm joined today uh, by the Brit from Baltimore, Jonathan Prothero. Yes, uh, so good to be here again. <laughs> here we are, guys. We are back. Uh, we're excited to talk to you guys today. Uh, we're going to break down a little bit of a parable in Matthew chapter 20 today. And uh, um, Jonathan, Pastor Jonathan, dropped this on me just a little bit ago. I was a shocker. I said, hey, was this the one where I missed on a Sunday? Did you preach this? He said, no, I just thought this would be a great conversation. So <laughs> so we're going we're yeah. gonna to jump right into this, which is, which is funny because something happened to me yesterday that uh, deals with this particular parable. I, Which was so weird. That is that is <laughs> bizarre. It's bizarre. So yeah. last night, as I'm making notes, you're on the phone talking to somebody, yes. and this parable comes up this, which is that's right yes yeah, kind of weird it, it is it's just so random of, of you know. all this isn't a particularly talked about parable either it's not like this no. is the prodigal son or a big one this is, oh no uh, no 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 but yeah. Uh, yeah anyway this kicks off what will be just um a little mini series on some of the parables of jesus yeah. and so we'll start with this one and work our way through and see how far see how far we get. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in exploring more uh, of the parables of Jesus, yeah. then yeah, follow along on this podcast and the next couple. And uh, we'll give some thoughts and some insight and some ideas. But And we're coming into election season. And <laughs> so why not make everything so political? Not, let's make it political. You know, <laughs> exactly. no, no. One of the things that you said, would, would Jesus get your vote? You know, <laughs> would, would Jesus get your vote? I think it's a, yeah, it's an interesting question because of course uh, every Christian is going, yes, Jesus, yes, gets, Jesus my vote. gets my vote. He's my time. Lord and savior. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Well, well, um, I had this sort of thought experiment. What if, yeah, Let's let's remove the name Jesus, the personhood of Jesus, all of that. Let's let's just put that to the side for just a second. Mm -hmm. And if we were to take Jesus's principles on how to govern and how to manage a kingdom and mm -hmm. how to do life, mm -hmm. his policies, which would mm -hmm. be sort of a modern way of saying that, yep. if we were to put Jesus policies up against uh, you know a Harris policies or a Trump policies or whatever president or or party, yeah, would you vote for Jesus policies? if you didn't know it was Jesus? And that, I think, is a fascinating question because That's Jesus right. says all the time, the kingdom of God is like. Mm -hmm. it's, another way of saying that is, you know, uh, um, the kingdom of America is a little bit like this. Mm -hmm. Or uh, the kingdom of England, the United Kingdom, it's yep. a little bit like this. This is how we function in yeah. our kingdom. Jesus yeah. does this time and time again. And, and, and mind you, this is how it's going to be. Yes, <laughs> one day. So, get so used if you don't to, like so it, so if you don't like it, you might want to <laughs> check your attitude at the door. Exactly, as as our friend Shane yeah. Willard says, you know, you, you might as well change now so you don't get whiplash when you go to heaven. That's right. Uh, because That's right. this is how it's functioning in yeah. heaven, and this is this is the kingdom and rule which you've worshipped about, and loved. You know, Christians yep. have. Oh yeah, your whole life. And sometimes we don't really engage with like practically nuts and bolts what it actually means to right. run government. Well, because I think in, to a certain degree we filter it through a Western culture, totally. obviously, yeah. and 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 that skews a little bit of the kingdom of God. Um, and, and and again, I'm not saying oh we're sinners and we're not doing it. No, I'm just saying we're skewed a little bit by by our uh, devotion to the kingdom of man. Totally. And, and, and I can say that from being American, you know, <laughs> and uh, America. America. And, and, uh, and, yeah, that's right. Big trucks, you know, let's go. Um, and, and so I think, I, I think sometimes we can skew a little bit of our view of the kingdom of God with how we filter it through uh, our American culture. Absolutely, you know, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Well, well, well. Let's dive in. This this parable um, that I wrote is from Matthew twenty, the one that I pulled mm. out, and it's I'm taking from verses one through sixteen here. It's called um, the workers in the vineyard, mm -hmm. and um, I'll just give a brief overview of the parable. This is roughly what happens. You can go mm -hmm. read it in your own time, yep. but what happens is you have a an owner, a manager. No, not a manager, an owner. Mm -hmm. And he's looking for workers to work his vineyard. So he goes out. It says early in the morning. So you have to imagine, I don't know, five, six o'clock, mm -hmm. sunrise. He goes out to the marketplace and he looks for workers. And they're not doing anything. They're looking for work. And he says, great, come work in my vineyard. 
And with the first set of workers, this is what happens. So, says, so, so in these stories, uh-huh. right? We yeah. always have to uh, preface this a little bit, okay? Right? Um, what Shane always says: "Who am I in this story?" Exactly. Right? Like who? Okay, let's take a step back. John's going to explain this story to you, but who are you in this story? Right. Yeah. So, so the characters so far is we have the owner. He yeah. goes into the marketplace. He finds some. Uh, laborers that are looking for work Mm -hmm. and he strikes a deal with them come work for me for the day and i will give you one denarius right which Mm -hmm. is a a day's wage Mm -hmm. i will pay you that sum of money and they at that time say yes Yes, of course they're in of course great we have work for the day i can provide for my family let's go and so they go let's say 6 a.m early in the morning and then it says he repeatedly this owner goes back to the marketplace because he needs more workers Mm -hmm. And so uh, at noontime, he goes back and he finds more work Mm. and he says, come. Now, this is what's interesting. In the morning with the first group of people, he says, I will pay you a denarius. Mm. At 12 o'clock when he goes back, he says, I will pay you what is right. He doesn't say what is fair. He doesn't, they don't agree a specific sum. He just Mm -hmm. says what is right. And at 12 o'clock, they're going, hey, if I, you know, get a half day's wage, that's great. So they say yes. And this repeats itself. So uh, at three o'clock, he goes back and he finds more workers. And he says, I'll pay you what is right. And they say, yes. At five o'clock, he goes back. And, and this happens a number of times. And at the end of the day, the owner says, right, here's what I want you to do. Everybody's going to get their wage. But I want you to bring in the people that came in at the end of the day. And I want you to, to bring them first. Mm. Um, so they're going to get paid first. And the people that have worked the entire day, they're going to get paid last. And so he starts paying each and every person from the person who arrived last, and he gives them a denarius. Now, if you're at the back of the line, you're probably thinking, they get a denarius, so um, that must mean I get more. I will but get they're, two but, but, denarius. So, yeah. But the owner makes yeah. a real point of going, I want the people at the back to witness the people at the front mm-hmm. who came in right at the end mm-hmm. of the day. Mm-hmm. Like, like he could have done it the opposite way and pay them first and they can go, and then, but he doesn't. And he pays all of the workers the same amount. Now, of course, the people at the back get upset about that. They say, hey, we've been working all day. Yeah. Some have only worked, it says, an hour. It sounds similar to the prodigal son here a little bit, the, the brother, similar. right? right? So, similar yeah. f- feel to it, yeah. Exactly, I've got yeah. some points yeah, yeah, here yeah. as yeah. well on that. But okay. um, yeah, there's a great connection mm-hmm. here. And so they, they start complaining and they start going, hey, we worked here all day yeah. and the people who came here worked for an yeah. hour, they got the same pay as us. Man, and that's what they said when I hired you, John. <laughs> he he try, walks in yeah. in the final hour. He likes the final hour. <laughs> yeah. The hiring the staff and John I'm, gets paid just as much as everybody I'm, else. I think, yeah. yeah. You, you're jumping ahead here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But go ahead. Because everyone on. knows well, what I'm joking. paid. Joking. You're right. 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 Everyone knows. Yeah. Um, mm. And so, and, and honestly, a pretty normal human response. Yeah. It's how sure. you would feel. It's how I would feel sure. watching people come in, work only an hour, mm. thinking, dang it, I could have just turned up at the final hour and yeah. got paid the same. And, um, and then you get this amazing line mm. from, uh, from this vineyard owner. And he says, am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or do you begrudge my generosity? Mm. And, uh, and it's an amazing line and we could get into that. But um, I guess there's, there's so much we can talk about in, in this, this parable here. Jesus mm. is really dealing with heart issues. He's dealing with generosity, yeah. our notion yeah. of fairness and grace. And, and maybe let's start mm. there when it comes to fairness and mm-hmm. grace. Like, is this story fair? Like, is Jesus being fair? Let's, like, like, let's just assume... Well, the- the right answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> How I feel about it, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, um, yeah. It, like, is Jesus being fair here? Because if it was me, like if, if a president yeah. ran on mm-hmm. this campaign that everybody gets paid the same regardless yeah. of how hard you've worked or yes. what you brought to the table, yeah. I don't think anybody in this nation or in England or in any other nation yeah. or with a right mind sure. would go, I'm voting for that. Unless you were the kind of person who did not want to work at all. <laughs> <laughs> although although that could, yeah, if that was a policy, so, right. so let's say that was a policy. Yeah. Um, and, and again, I don't know if, you know, Jesus's angle here, like, I, I guess I haven't studied 
like that particular parable to right. to the degree yeah, yeah, yeah. of probably that should be studied. But, um, you know, I, yeah, I think that would promote laziness in certain, right. you know, with, with certain people. Uh, I don't have to show up. I'll just show up at the end of the day and get the same same wages. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, but, I but, would. But, but, yeah. I mean, <laughs> think like, about it. I, I can ride my motorcycle all day and like show up. Like if your employer like said, hey, you <laughs> get paid the same if you work 12 hours a day or one yeah. hour a day, Yeah, most people are going to take it. One hour a day, that. yeah. Most people would. Most people would. That is true. And, I, and again, I don't know context, yeah, totally, right? Yeah, totally, totally. Like what is he, you know, what's he doing here? Uh, and, and who's he talking to in that particular passage? I think this is a, obviously a, a little bit deeper thing, you know, in my thoughts yeah. Yeah. Um, when it comes to this this subject and and this this particular thing. But yeah, when you're when you're talking about, you know, if this is a policy of the kingdom of God, and I think a lot of this has to do with the heart of heart of uh, the heart of the Father, um, that no matter when you enter into the kingdom. You're the same. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know. You're not treated as differently. Yeah, yeah like, like like a hierarchical, like, you're late to like the a game. lower son. You're or late lower to the daughter. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, you mm. made it. We're glad mm-hmm. you're on the team, but you're essentially a sub. Yeah. You know what That's I mean? That's right. You you're benched and if we need you, it, we'll they call actually you. started them in this parable. Exactly. They actually put them at the front of the to, line. To, to use a metaphor yeah. on top of yeah. a metaphor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. And, and I think it's like if somebody, if an employer were to say that, we would call them irresponsible. Sure. We would say that's not ethical. Sure. Um, we would say that's promoting laziness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we, we would actually give that person quite a hard time Um about the way this mm. operates. And I think it's mm-hmm. because our notion of fairness is typically based on effort. Mm-hmm. Whereas whereas God is God's kingdom operates on grace, mm-hmm. not fairness. That's 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 where my mind was going with it as well. Exactly. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. the grace is the same. Yeah. Um, fairness for you and me is hey, somebody has two hundred dollars and they want to give it away, hundred dollars goes to you, hundred dollars goes to me. That's sure. fair. That's split sure. down the middle. Mm-hmm. But fairness in God's kingdom and in God's eyes, grace looks at the need Mm -hmm. and goes, hold on, you know, uh, uh, Larry Kirk had a tough month. He needs $120. Mm. Jonathan had an okay month. He doesn't really need the money. Mm -hmm. We'll give him 80. And and so in God's eyes, the meeting the need Mm -hmm. creates the equilibrium and the fairness and the equity as opposed to everybody just getting the same thing. Well, not to get political, but... but maybe this, I don't know if this would be a political statement or uh, any kind of political whatever out there, but it's just the same way with, with what's happening right now in our country, like with right. the hurricanes and things. Yeah. Um, yeah exactly. You know, I mean, North Carolina and people, uh, FEMA is not coming through, uh, because they've doled out most of their monies to, um, other foreign entities, uh, countries and, um, illegals that are coming into the country. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of that that's happening. And is there enough money for the hurricane victims of people who, who are citizens of the United States? And is that fair? Right. Right. right? Yeah. I mean, this is what we're talking about here. Yeah, yeah, totally. And, and again, people in their plight and, and hurting, there's, you know, my goodness, we should. And, and there's a lot of generous people out there that are, that are, doing going over and above and helping right. helping these people as well um, outside of the government you know and which which that's where it should happen you know to 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 uh, you know we should help our fellow man uh, in hurting you know Absolutely. I mean we do that as a church we Absolutely, give to yeah. organizations that are boots on the ground in Florida right now boots on the ground in North Carolina um, feeding water, all that stuff, yeah, you know. Yeah. So we're we're generous in that way to, to help organizations that can that can make great impact. But 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 is you know that's the that that's the weight of this, you know. And you you hear it all over the news, you know. Is that fair? You know, is it fair or not fair? Exactly, because yeah. that's how we function. Like we mm-hmm. humans have this internal justice system. The yeah. problem with our own little justice system yeah. in our hearts is yeah. it's bent. And it's, it's bent toward a certain people group. Uh, or, usually uh, ourselves. Or ourselves. <laughs> Is it yeah. fair for me? Yeah, yeah. What am I getting yeah. out of this? Yeah. You know, you asked the question at the beginning of the parable, like, who are you in this parable? Mm-hmm. You know, are you the landowner? Are you the worker who comes early or the worker who comes late? Mm-hmm. I would argue and suggest that most of us 
are the early workers. Mm -hmm. Like most of us who For sure. are the people who complain mm -hmm. that, that we maybe didn't get what was owed to us mm -hmm. or what was made. And what's funny is, right, about this parable is the workers at the beginning of the day, they were happy to have work. Yeah. Oh, they, yeah. They were happy because they mm. knew what they were getting paid. That's right. They didn't feel discontented until yeah. they saw someone else, else receiving yeah. generosity. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's one of the great points of this message is when someone gets something generous yeah. and you don't, or even if you get the same thing yeah. or you feel like it should have been geared towards you or somehow yeah. somebody overlooked you. That's right. Is your heart posture joy for that person mm -hmm. because a need was met or is your heart posture where's mine? That's right. I didn't get everything I think I should that's have right. got. Um, and so yeah. there's a real selfishness in our generosity, which is why I love this idea. Like, does does somebody else's generosity provoke and bring out the greed? In your yeah. Life? When's the last time? I'll ask all the listeners right now and those watching on YouTube. When's the last time that you had a friend or someone in your family member or someone around you that was just so tremendously blessed yeah. by something uh, incredibly over and above? Uh huh. Uh, and and how did you feel? Yeah, yeah. In that yeah. moment, exactly. Especially if that thing was undeserved, right? According to yeah, you according to humans, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And and how did you feel? Were you were you like oh, you know? I didn't, know? Get, mine. I didn't <laughs> yeah. get mine. I didn't get worse. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, you know, yeah. I've done this and I've done that. Right. And I've worked harder and I've got paid less. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. And 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 or were you were you actually joyful for them? Mm -hmm. You know, and excited for them. Um, I, I think, I think, you know, for me, for me personally, I, whether they deserve it or not, I don't know, but I mean, I, you know, I'm thrilled by the fact that if, if someone is blessed with something over and above, I think it's an, an incredible thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, we did something in, in church a few weeks ago, um, where, where we talked about the tithe uh -huh. and, and you remember John, we, I was giving money away right, yeah, yeah. at church yeah. <laughs> to people in, in the, the, in in the, the service, audience, yeah. in the service. And, uh, and they would tithe back the, whatever, you know, right. the ones, the fives, the tens, the twenties, and they would tithe back one and then they could have the rest and literally take it home with them. Mm. I wonder how many people in that room were thinking, I wish that was me. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of thinking, man, that is awesome. Could, couldn't be what joyful a, in couldn't their be hearts. joyful in their hearts for someone else. For somebody, I like, wonder wait. how many people. And and yeah. and that is such a great, you know, observe the plank in your own eye, yeah. like self evaluation yeah. moment. And and I honestly think God puts us in situations where He blesses mm -hmm. everyone around you, but mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> Just to see right. yeah. what happens. But of course, in the parable, God does bless everybody. He does. And, he does. And mm -hmm. I think one of the principles that we should learn here is that, you know, I, I wrote down here that, that it, you know, in his kingdom, it's not about what we deserve. It's about his generosity. Mm. And, and we're so obsessed with what people deserve. Yeah. The whole criminal justice system, which we need, we shouldn't do away with, but mm -hmm. it's what does somebody deserve? Yeah. The whole uh, working industry is what do they deserve? Yeah. Um, you know, nowadays, you know, woke culture and cancel culture is, is, is somebody's version of what we think somebody should deserve from a mistake they made 20 years ago. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, so we're so obsessed as humans with mm -hmm. what, what did you earn? What do you deserve? Pay what they're worth. Whereas in God's kingdom, yeah. in, 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 in Jesus' new election uh, <laughs> political arena, <laughs> That's right. his policy is I'm not yeah. giving people what they deserve. I'm mm -hmm. giving them out of my generosity. Mm -hmm. And if that bugs you, you need to change your heart posture because yeah. I'm going to keep doing this. Yeah, because I'm going to keep doing this and you're not going to like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not changing to suit yeah. you and your stinginess. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to keep, no, keep doing I, this. No, I mean, think about it. We we have been offered forgiveness and we didn't deserve it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, you, you have to take a step back and think of it in your own, in your own um, life and what you deserve and what you don't deserve. And, and God's blessed you anyway, Yeah, yeah. you know, and given you and given you the grace and given you mercy, showed you mercy where, you know, maybe somebody else wouldn't have. Right, and the right. Lord has shown his mercy in your life. And, and I think, and I think that's, you know, kind of 
drilling down on a little bit, a little bit deeper, but I mean, it's, uh, you just have to really set yourself in the story and, you know, like you said, John, are we people at the back of the line, the middle of the line, the front of the line, where are we on that? Or, you know, I mean, I think obviously the owner is the Lord, you know, yeah, in the I would, story. I think that's fair. I don't think yeah. we're, we would be the owner. Uh, although, although there could be something said there as well. Yeah. Totally. You know, yeah. For those um, running businesses yeah, and, and yeah. how do you think about your employees mm-hmm. and yeah, I, I, do you only give out of fairness, or is there just space in your heart to just be generous? Just, just be, because? just, just to be a blessing. To, yeah, to, yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally unmerited, yeah. unearned. One of my favorite things that our parents did with us, you know, they had, you know, six kids. I got five sisters yeah. growing up, and you know how it is with kids when there's a birthday party yeah. and one kid's getting all the attention and the presents. Sure. The other kids are getting jealous, and so you see parents <laughs> buy them little gifts to keep them and happy, it's, and it's not taught. It's yeah. to be jealous, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's, it's in us, It's right? in us to do yeah. that. And and one of my favorite things that, that mom mm. and dad did was they would just bless us individually at completely random times, mm. and they would teach us to be happy for that person. They said, yours will come, completely different day, month, yeah. year. Yeah. We will do something for you. And it'd be small stuff. Maybe it was taking sure. Christy out to McDonald's, and this. But none of you are going, this is Christy's treat. We're going to bless her. Or, you know, I'm putting, picking on one of my Poor sisters, dad but, and yeah. mom, that's all they could afford at <laughs> yeah, the time, yeah, at the too, time, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> basically. Yeah. But, but other yeah. times it was, you know, we're, we're, you know, we have some inheritance money. We're buying Jonathan a guitar. That doesn't mean we don't love you and won't get you something else, but mm-hmm. I want you to be joyful for Jonathan in this moment because he's getting that's a guitar. That's really good. I didn't know they and did that. Yeah, and we saying. had to, like, really learn, okay, mm. we're not getting anything today. Yeah. We're just here to be joyful for mm-hmm. them. And, uh, and it deals with something inside of our hearts. Um, but, but moving on from that, I think what's interesting as well um, is these early workers, they, they, there's always a sense of entitlement about our lives. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the question I would ask people is, when you first became a Christian, I guarantee there was a set of prayers that you pray to God, like, God, if you can help me get me out of this mess, mm-hmm. get me out of this financial mess, yeah, relationship mess, we all, this divorce, get yeah. me through this and I will just be so happy. Mm. And typically God does that for us. We come mm. out of the mess, but then we have a new set of expectations. Yeah. And all of a sudden what God did for us, or the agreed upon salary of the day, if you like, <laughs> yeah. that would have made us so happy mm-hmm. if God had said at the beginning, yeah, I'll bring you out of that. Then he does. All of a sudden we have this entitlement like, no, I want more. Because mm-hmm. that's the human heart. It is. As soon as God does something for us, we want more. Mm-hmm. We expect more mm-hmm. in our lives. And I think we forget to be happy with what we agreed about at yeah. the beginning of the day. Yeah, like no, that's, that. a great, that's a great point. Um, there's a, you know, and, and again, I don't think pastor Jonathan's saying we shouldn't expect God to do more Mm -hmm. things in our life. You're not saying that it's just that it, there's, there's a, there's a factor involved in that in, in being, you know, um, I think he says in one, uh, is it, and you can help me with this one. Um, cause it's just slipping my mind. It was, was it Jesus that said, uh, just be happy that your names are written in the lamb's book of life. Who said that? Do you, re- do you remember who said who I said that? that who that said this? Jesus. Let's just be. Yeah. Let's just be. If if anything else, like in in the whatever's going on in your life, good, bad, awful, just let's let's be let's be uh, happy with this. Yeah. You know that this is this is the mark, and yeah. that that our names are there. Yeah. And that it's not it's not it's not about collecting more things in the future. It's it's about what what Jesus has already done for you and, and, and you're forgiven right, and you're right. on your way to heaven and, yeah. and, and you have a purpose in this life and, and to fulfill that. I mean, that those are the important things about this whole thing. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's Luke ten twenty. Uh, Jesus does okay. say that. He does say that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and that's the thing at one point in your life, if you look back and if 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 at, at some point in your life if if someone to tell you that you would have the life that you have now mm-hmm. i bet you would be filled with a sense of gratitude and love like like if 10 years ago if somebody had told me jonathan like trust me it'll it'll all, god will bring you out of all of mm. this and you'll be so happy and 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 i get to that place and then i still feel dissatisfied mm-hmm. 
that to me is a marker that I've forgotten to be grateful uh, for my agreed upon wage at the beginning. Yeah. That thing yeah. that I know would have satisfied me and provided yeah. for me and made me so happy yeah. at the beginning of this journey, that's all right. of a sudden is not enough anymore. That's right. Um, and that's what happened to these workers. Yes. They were satisfied with their yes. pay. Um, yeah. and, and here's the thing. If the worker had come back, if the landowner came back the next day and offered them the same deal, would they take it? Probably not if they had an attitude. Right. You know, I'm like, just going to show up an hour late. Yeah, you yeah. Know, an hour before it shuts down. It, what what changed? The only thing that changed was they witnessed generosity. Which, which I think Jesus would have flipped it on its head then too. Like, okay, now you got that attitude. You're just going to yeah. get what you deserve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You, you want to play easily, that game. You want to okay, play that fine. game. We can easily flip this you, thing. You want to play the deserve yeah. game? Because, because it never said that these people were lazy. It never said that. So it wasn't about that. So there had to be right. something else that was going on in this story, like from that standpoint. It yeah. wasn't about them being lazy and showing up an hour right before yeah. uh, the work stops. Um, who knows what that that yeah. was referencing in that moment. But but at the end of the day, I think it's the heart of God. God <laughs> loves us all equally yeah, yeah, across yeah. the board. Yeah. And he shows us grace in those moments. Yeah. Um, whether you, again, you're late to the game or early to the game. We're we're all at the same place in this in this thing. We're all yeah. we're all at the same level at the foot of the cross. I always say, you know, and and we don't get to dictate um, how God spends His generosity. No. Or, or to be yeah. fair, it's kind of um, you know I don't want to share details about necessarily the story that you had yesterday, but I oh, think yeah. it was kind of a similar yeah. point that you had to make it, that when somebody yeah. owns something, they can do whatever they want with it. That's right. And and you know they may ask you for your opinion, but at the end of the day, it's their prerogative to share their generosity however they want yeah. to. Yeah, it, it would be like I'll just give the example if it was me. You know, and, and, and here I am working the farm and, and, and it's, you know, a few hundred acres and, and it, working the farm, working the farm, working the farm, getting benefits from the farm. And my sister doesn't even work the farm at all. Mm -hmm. She's off in another world. Right. You know, she's she's traveling. She's doing whatever she wants to do and, and living it up. And I'm working hard at the farm, working hard at the farm. And at the end of the day, my dad says, uh, she gets half and you get half. Yeah. Now I have I have a choice to make in that moment. I can get angry and mad and I've worked the farm. I've worked I've done this. She's done nothing to help the farm. Right. And yet yet you're gonna give her half. I, I think that's the story, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's yeah. a part of the story yeah. is is it doesn't matter. This is this is the whole point. This is the heart of God and the heart of the Father wants to bless his children. Yeah. And we're all his kids. Yeah, and 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 I think that's you know that's kind of I put myself in that story, but it's but that's kind of the example of it. Uh, yeah, and and like you said at the beginning, this ties very closely to the prodigal son story. Mm. You know, Jesus uses the same yeah. line: "The kingdom of heaven is like." Mm -hmm. And then he shares the prodigal son story, and like you said, you kind of you know you. Um, uh, uh, mirrored yourself or paralleled yourself to the son who remained and worked on a farm mm -hmm. and and got upset when his little brother returned home. Mm -hmm. That's or right, sister or whatever. Yeah, and mm -hmm. and that's the thing about stuff or inheritance is we can end up caring and worrying more about ourselves than our lost brothers and mm -hmm. sisters. We can worry more about what we think we deserve than being yeah. excited for the person who actually, at the end of the day was terrified. Those workers who came at the end of the day, they thought they were going to get nothing. Yeah, They thought they were going to stand in the marketplace. Yeah. They weren't going to get hired. They thought they were worthless. Um, but but the landowner gave them value, mm -hmm. gave them purpose, That's gave right. them meaning. And, and it's so easy in our hearts to not be joyful when people find that or people discover and, that. And I would think that even it maybe not perpetuate what we would – you know, again, our minds, again, that's a Western that thought that uh, they're just lazy and showing up. You know, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. they weren't. No, it doesn't no. say that. It doesn't say, it doesn't say yeah. they were slothful and didn't want to work, like, and showed up at the end of the day. It, it may perpetuate, no, I want to work in this kingdom. Yeah. I want to show up early tomorrow. Right, right. Because he's so, gen like, I, I want to work for I'm, this kind I of I want to, yeah, exactly. And yeah. I think, and I think that's, that's the, that's the point of it as well. It's just kind of bringing us into that. 
Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. And I think from the story, there's maybe little hints or clues that they weren't lazy because they're still in the marketplace at the end of the day, mm -hmm. still looking mm -hmm. for work. They're not at home. Yeah, that's right. They're not playing PlayStation. Yeah. They're not, you know, doing whatever. Mm -hmm. Like they're, they're really willing um, and they jump at the opportunity as well. Yeah. No one said it was at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, they didn't know how many, you know, it's, it's all of those factors, I yeah. think. But I think our minds go right to the negative thing. Like, oh, totally. they're just lazy. And yeah. Right, yeah. Just get whatever. But yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> well, we're so, yeah, we're so yeah. burned, aren't we? You know, yeah, when it comes I to know. welfare system. And yeah. I don't want to get into all of that. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. messy. Yeah. I think it's like it's not also a completely fair parallel because, you know, mm -hmm. our presidents, we they work with finite resources, mm -hmm. but God's resources are infinite. infinite yeah. So his generosity isn't like a pie and he slices the this out for you and this mm -hmm. out for you. Mm -hmm. It's it's infinite. Mm -hmm. um, and so so God can be generous to whoever he wants to be generous That's right. to. And, and I think the practical thing for us, the application for us is just, can you find it in your hearts to be joyful when something good happens to somebody else? Yeah. Unmerited, yeah. unwarranted, and undeserved. Yeah. Um, and that's easy when it's someone you like, but when it's someone you don't know or someone you don't like, uh, all of a sudden you get tested much more. I, it's so funny. Like, I've, I, I don't know if I've, I guess I started, Maybe younger when I was younger, I I would look at it that way. But mm. but but in my life now, I'm I'm just overjoyed that people get to do certain things that they do and I, that I've never done. Like it's like, oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, my kid going to Norway, he's went to Italy. I've never been to either of those places. I'd love to go there. You really should. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, <laughs> it, well, Italy's on our bucket list. Oh, you know, we yeah. New Zealand and Australia, we checked off, yeah, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah. You know, th those were amazing. But Italy's on, on one of our bucket lists. But, but, but I was I was thrilled and over uh, like to over the moon about it right, for him. Right. You know, and uh, like in and just other people in my life that are just blessed and things. And I mean, I'm I'm thrilled about it. Yeah, it's a you petty know. person who goes, well, well, you didn't work as hard as I have. Yeah. I've been grinding <laughs> yeah. out all my life, and yeah. I haven't got to travel. And I'm in my fifties, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's thinking twenty six. Yeah, been doing yeah. This. yeah. I've been here since six a.m. I can tell you that. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. So, good stuff. yeah. So for mm. me, the moral of the story mm. is live by grace, not fairness. Yeah. You know, it's good, man. You move, move in that way, and and you'll just begin to discover much more the characteristic of God. Yeah. Um, God is just, mm -hmm. but again, in Exodus, justice and fairness, by the way, are two very different things. Um, very true. But I don't want to, that again, that's a whole philosoph yeah. philosophical mm -hmm. sort of debate. Very we can true. get into that. But, mm -hmm. you know, justice is more about the morals, whereas fairness mm -hmm. is much more subjective. Mm -hmm. um, but, but God is just in Exodus 20. But if you read scripture, it's always freighted towards mercy over justice. Mm -hmm. It's not 50-50. That's right. It's, it's his... You know, in Exodus 20, it's his justice will rain down on the household to the third mm -hmm. and uh, second and third generation. But but his mercy is for thousands. Yes. It goes on and yeah. on and on and on. The picture here is like a scale of weights. His mercy is new every morning, his mercy every is new day. Every single day every forever. Day. And Ever. so it's the, the mercy yep. side of things is always much mm. more um, powerful. God is yeah. much more interested in people. Yeah. That's right. another way of saying it. That's right. <laughs> it's right. It's right. Like, he loves people more than the rules. And, and, yeah. and God's it's generosity so will tick you off that, at times. It will. And, uh, and you're going to have to be okay with it. Yeah, yeah. You have to learn, <laughs> learn to be joyful about it. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Because it is more blessed to give than it is to receive. Exactly. At the end of the day, yeah, you, there's something in itch that you, you'd love to receive something. But but when, you, when you're able to be generous and... And be able to give it. Just think of that as that's our that's the heart of our God, the heart of our Father. For God so loved the world, He gave. Yeah, and thank God as well. Yes, like for for goodness sake, like My you goodness. you wouldn't get anywhere near the vineyard if it wasn't for His generosity. That's right. That's so true. <laughs> his grace upon you. So, yeah. so don't forget your first love. Don't forget yeah. the gratitude you yeah. had in your heart towards Him when He brought you out of all that mess. And, and don't get entitled thinking I deserve more just because I've been in the game. Like that. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Well, Close us out. That was so good. Close us out. Yeah, absolutely. Well, stuff to wrestle with. And feel free to ask questions. We'll go through a few more parables. Thank you so much for tuning in. We know your time is valuable. Yeah. And so we just so appreciate you being here and opening up scripture with us. It, 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 means, uh, it means everything to us. So anyway, please make sure that you like, subscribe, review, five stars, do all of those things that help us get this message out there. Aside from that, we pray that this in some way has enriched your life. God bless.